and hello YouTube this is GS Man I'm smart with another brand new tutorial for all the GIMP users out there and today's tutorial will be showing you how to make see-through text now usually if you want to make see-through text you have to go get a plugin and download a bunch of stuff but here we're gonna show you how to do it with without any plugins without any messing with any settings and it's going to be very simple. So first what you want to do is open up uh, GIMP and any size will do. We'll just go with the default size right now. Now let's just get some random brush so we can make a see-through. Uh, let's see what can we use. We can use this right here. okay now say we have this background and now usually if you have a text let's go ahead and use comic sans now usually when you have text on top of an image it covers the image and you can't see the entire background and here is how that looks as you can see, if we make this bigger, it covers parts of the background. Now, if you want to make this see-through so that you can see the background still and have the letters there still, it's very easy. So here's what we're going to do. Now, you should have your text layer open and your background layer open in your layers menu. And what you want to do is you want to right click on your text layer click text to selection and you should see small dots around the letters here next what you want to do is make a new layer so you click this little white button down here keep the settings the same make sure you have transparency which it should be already press ok and now you're gonna go ahead and leave this layer on top of here and it should look like this now what we're gonna do is you should still have your text selected around the borders make sure you click your new layer and we're going to go up to select grow now depending on your text size you might want to use three two four if you have very small text you might want to use one or two if you have big text you might want to use three or four it all depends on what kind of size of text you have what kind of font size so i'm going to use three and you'll see that the outer lines have extended so now what we're going to do is we're going to keep our new layer selected get our paint bucket fill tool which is this one right here and make sure your foreground color is black and right where the letters are you just click that and you can see that the letters have gotten bigger it looks like they're bolded now so now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and click your text layer, the one you made, delete it with a little trash can button here, and you see we only have this left. Now, your text should still be selected around in the borders. I'm going to go back up to select with the new layer selected, and this time instead of growing it, we're going to shrink it. Now here is where you might want to play around a little bit, see which looks best, which doesn't look good, so let's just try three for now three and you'll see that it shrunk back to the original form that it was in so now we go up to edit the cut button and we have see-through text it sort of is a outline of the text but it's see-through so if you want to move it around make sure you get the borders you see you can still see the background even though the text layer is there. Now, there are plugins for this. GIMP offers plugins where you can make see through text and you can have like little small effects uh, where there'll, there'll be like glass layers on top of your text. So it's like see through glass, but that gets a little more complicated. So if you want to keep it simple and just learn um, from the basics, 
Uh, this should pretty much work really good. Uh, it's good to play around with the settings a little bit when you shrink and grow because as you can see here the E is a very big here so you might want to like play around a little bit of how to shrink it how to grow it but basically this is the easiest way to get see-through text if you're still a basic beginner and don't know much about the program so I hope everyone learned how to make see-through text and thank you all for watching subscribe if you want leave a comment press like you know how it goes usually and this is GS Man I'm smart and I'll be back sooner you think don't go anywhere